I'm totally waiting for Twit and before you buy and today I'm reviewing a couple in-ear headsets that's both tangle free and affordable. First I have the Tilt Tunes, comes in five different colors, has one inline control that lets you answer and hang up on calls and also uh, if you want to have any voice control on your phone you can press and hold the one button that the, the headphone has and talk to your Siri or your Google Now and in the future you can talk to Cortana if you like. Um, these headphones do come with a carrying case and also an extra set of earbuds that lets you sort of keep, well it's supposed to keep the earbuds in place so if you're out jogging or running or doing anything active it won't fall out but in my experience with these headphones they actually sort of pry the earbuds off access a little bit so I'm actually getting some some noise leaking in so the noise isolation is actually being hurt by having this extra piece of rubber on the side. The MSRP price is $49.99 and the street price is a little bit lower at $36. Pros, it comes with a carrying case, it comes with these special ear pieces. Kong, the price is a little high and you only have one control on the line. And the next headphone I have is the I Love Neon Sound. It comes in eight different colors, has volume control as well as answer and hang up and your home button built into the line itself. Also a mic, so you can talk on the phone. And the MSRP price is $34.99. The street price is $13. The street price is $13. Did I mention the street price is $13? Um, these headphones also have a flat construction for the cord and because of the material they chose, the, the rubber they chose, the plastic they chose, it's actually much less likely to tangle versus the Tilt Tunes which has sort of like a grippy, slippery rubber that actually makes the headphone most, more likely to tangle. So it's kind of, sort of the wrong material to choose for tangle free headsets. So pros and cons for the I Love Neon Sound comes in eight different colors. There's a color for everybody. It's comfortable in your ear. They don't try to do any cra anything crazy or fancy with the design. The only con I have for the I Love Neon Sound is that they are a little bit large uh, compared to other in-ear headphones. So buy, try, or don't buy for these guys. I'm going to give a don't buy for the Tilt just because of the price. And I'm going to give the Neon Sound a buy because of the price. Tony for Twitter and before you buy and this is the Tilt Tunes in the I Love Neon Sound.